My mom was 16 when she was sent to Manila. Before that, she spent all her life in Cebu. Yung grandparents ko raw, pinadala ang aking mom sa Manila to study. Esme! Sunod na! Esme! Sunod! Pero as the story goes, ni hindi siya nakapagtapos ng first year college. Even if she was only 16, my mommy loved to party. And it was in one of those nights out in the disco that my mommy met a guy who she thought was the man of her dreams. It was only later that I found out that ang pangalan niya ay Waldo. Sabi ni mommy, it was love at first sight. Bago ka lang diri sa Manila? Kunya, usa ka lang magsuri-suri kada gabi eh. Unsa na lang isulta ninyo mong ginikangan? Pastilan! Ang bataan eh! Nung bata pa siya, grabbing my in-love si mommy, She will do everything in the name of love. Lalong lalo na for this guy named Waldo. <laughs> so one day, it finally happened. And so, they called up my Lola from Cebu, pinapunta ng Manila without telling her about my mom's condition. At nang malaman ng aking Lola ang kalagayan ng mommy, Let's just say that she wasn't exactly very happy. Dahil sa galit ng aking lola sa nangyari, sabi niya, ipapadala niya si mommy kasama ang mga madre sa kumbento. And so, my mommy did what she thought best. Tumakas at naglayas ang luka-luka. Oh, Esme, ano ginagawa mo dito? Buntis ako, Dong. Well, my mom was only 16 at that time, so akala niya she will live happily ever after, even if isinumpa siya ng kanyang pamilya. What was important was that she was in love at ang kasama niya ang lalaking nagbigay ng meaning sa kanyang buhay. Even if she sometimes misses her family, na hindi na siya hinanap at pinauwi at parang kinalimutan na siya, she just kept telling herself that she was happy. Lakas pa! Well, she wanted to believe na masaya siya. Until one day... Waldo? Darling? Waldo? Waldo, sino yan? 
Esme, hindi ba sabi ko siya kakatok ka muna? Ba't di ka kumatok? Walang hiya ka doon! Oh, oh. Patigin mo! Hoy! Hoy! Hindi tao may kutaran yan! Hinalap ko lang kay Ernie niyan! Esme! 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 Hindi na hinintay ng mami na lumabas ng hospital si Waldo. She decided na it was time to go. At hindi rin siya bumalik sa kanyang family dahil ayaw na niyang umuwi ng Cebu. And because of that, she learned to be on her own. Kahit nahirapan siya, she did not give up. As she always says, kailangan ng tao yung may racket. Lahat ng trabaho ginawa ng mami ko para kumita. Basta raw honest at hindi nakakasakit ng kapwa, magandang racket yun. And my mom said that the moment na nakita niyang kanyang baby, alam niya na tamang kanyang ginawa. Gipangan lang ta ka og Abigail. Pero ikaw ang akong baby girl. At kahit alam ng kanyang family sa Cebu na nanganak na siya, ayaw pa rin nila makialam. Naku, Ay, ang oh, baby. Ang anak mo. Halika. Ayan. Esme, hmm? may naghahanap sa'yo. Sino? <laughs> Kuya Toto, ang sa'yo mong gibuhat din, hi? Naisip mo na ba kung paano mo bubuhayin ang baby mo? Kakayanin ko, Kuya. Esme, paminaw sa among isulti, ha? Naaprobahan ng papelis namo ng Kuya Toto mo. Sa Amerika na kami titira. Maganda ang nakuha niyang trabaho sa New Jersey. Hindi na ako maaring magkaanak. At alam mong ilang taon na namin gustong-gustong magkababy ng Kuya mo. Esme! Mabibigyan namin ng magandang future ang baby mo. At kahit ayaw man raw gawin ng mommy na ipamigay ang kanyang baby, she knew very well what was the right thing to do. Pangako ko sa'yo, pupuntahan ta ka sa Amerika. Magkikita tayo ulit, baby girl. Ate manaog tarong akong anak, ha, ate? Huwag kang mag-alala. <laughs> Hayaan mo, Esme. Pagsitilod na kami sa Amerika, ipasusundo ka namin para makasama mong iyong anak. Tutuloy na kami. Mag-iingat ka. Sige, kuya. Buwad to na mi. Napamay ubang lakaw. Ayo-ayo. I was not even a year old when they took me to America. And that was the last time na nakita ko ng aking tunay na ina.